as we have seen in boundary layer theory that is how a boundary layer is developed that is it is combining two concept together that is concept of adhesion force between the solid surface and the fluid surface as well as the viscosity of the fluid so considering this let us see what is boundary layer development and the definition of boundary layer boundary layer and definition of boundary layer so let us study first what is boundary layer growth or growth of boundary layer so for understanding this we should consider over here a solid surface let us consider this as a solid surface and we will keep the solid surface as stationary so we have stationary solid and moving air so we have moving air so from the left hand side we have a fluid of some viscosity flowing at a velocity u so this plate is such that it is parallel its entire area is parallel to the direction of the flow it is not perpendicular if it was a perpendicular plate so it would have been in the vertical direction since it is in the horizontal direction and here the cross sectional area will be also parallel to this entire fluid so over here we'll consider this point is the starting point of this entire plate this point is called as leading edge now leading edge is a point from where this entire boundary layer will start to grow so if you consider there is a small thickness very minute thickness near the layer of the solid surface or the split due to this force between the fluid as well as solid the velocity of the solid will be equals to the velocity of the fluid let us understand this again since there is some adhesive force over here let us write down due to due to adhesive force now this adhesive force is between the solid and the fluid which is above that due to this adhesive force what is happening is the velocity of fluid just near the vicinity or just near the vicinity or just near the solid will have same velocity as that of solid now what do you understand by this let us understand this part that is adhesive force now this adhesive force will be between the solid and very minute layer of the fluid now this adhesive force is if it is very strong then what happens is this entire part will have a zero velocity now this entire part will have zero velocity means what a small thickness of the fluid will have a very minute amount of velocity now if it is having a very minute amount of thickness and the velocity over there is equals to the velocity of solid but we have considered over here the velocity of the solid is zero 
Hence, the velocity of the fluid for that small layer will be zero. Now, this we can um, understand with the help of a section of entire ocean. If we take a section of an entire ocean, so we'll see the bottommost surface, bottommost surface which is attached to the solid or the earth will have a zero velocity. The fluid will be static or it will have a zero velocity. Then as we move, move away from the bottommost surface, we'll have a layer where we'll have a laminar flow. Beyond that, as we go upwards, we'll have over here transient flow and above that we'll have a turbulent flow. So the topmost part of the fluid or the ocean will have turbulent flow where there is a formation of waves. Whereas the aquatic life lives in a laminar flow or the streamline flow and transient flow is going converting from laminar to turbulent and turbulent to laminar. Similar to this, if this is the surface of the ground earth and this will be a small amount of layer where the velocity of the fluid is zero. So now we have understood this portion, this small portion where the fluid is static in, a, in an ocean. Similar to that, the fluid over this surface will have a zero velocity. So let us get back to our diagram where we had drawn the solid surface. So there is a small layer where we will have a zero velocity. So as we go away from this part, there will be a formation of boundary layer. Now, let us understand this. If we consider this as x-axis and this vertical axis as y-axis, up to some distance along y-axis, the velocity of the is zero. So, the velocity of the fluid will gradually decrease or rather gradually increase as we go for away from away from this part so now we have two axis x axis and y axis now along x axis the distance from the leading edge increases along y axis the vertical distance along the leading edge increases so as we increase the distance along y axis so what happens is the barrier is a shear stress developed in this entire part now this shear stress which is developed and this layer will be called as a laminar boundary layer because the flow over here is a laminar flow. Now let us consider the corresponding point on this axis that is x axis if we consider this as A, this as B, so this will be C. So this is the thickness of laminar boundary layer. Now over here, between this part, that is the part which has a zero velocity till the top of the boundary layer, what we get over here is a sum velocity gradient. Here the velocity is zero, but as we go away from away from this part there will be some velocity gradient. Now if we further go along x-axis what happens is there will be some formation of boundary layer but over here this boundary layer won't be a laminar this boundary layer will be called as a transient boundary layer. So this point let us consider this as a D not C and let us consider this as E and still away from the leading edge towards the downstream what happens is there will be formation of a boundary layer. This boundary layer till the last point F and G we will have this called as a turbulent boundary layer. Now, in turbulent boundary layer, there will be some laminar sublayer. So, here we will have laminar sub 
layer. This part over here is called as laminar boundary layer. This is transient boundary layer. And the last part which is over here, this is called as turbulent boundary layer. We have seen this will be a laminar boundary layer, then this will be a transient and then this will be a turbulent boundary layer. Now let us understand this in briefly over here. Initial layer over here will have a zero velocity but as we go perpendicular to the plate the, there will be some velocity gradient and as we go away from the leading edge there will be some growth in the boundary layer this will grow on this will go on increasing as we go from laminar to transient transient to turbulent boundary layer now this is due to the shear friction between the two layers of the fluid now the shear friction will be due to the shear stresses over here over this boundary layer there will be maximum amount of shear stress which will be developed beyond the boundary layer there will be a very small amount of shear stress rather negligible amount of shear stresses now as it goes ahead the shear stress over here in the turbulent part changes whereas in laminar boundary layer that follows Newton's law of viscosity now let us study this further about laminar sublayer. Now, what is a laminar sublayer? In a laminar sublayer, the value of shear stress that is tau zero is equals to mu into du by dy. But in sublayer, this entire velocity remains constant. So hence, this is mu into u by y that is equals to tau zero now let us understand few parts over here that is tau zero is the shear stress in this small region which is called as the laminar sublayer which will have its definite viscosity where the velocity is constant along the thickness y of the laminar sublayer so in laminar sublayer the velocity remains constant now let us define what is boundary layer thickness so now we have seen here in this entire diagram that the boundary layer thickness for laminar layer is small as we go ahead it increases as we go from leading edge to the trailing edge from from this point to the end point but how will we define this boundary layer thickness a boundary layer thickness is defined as okay let us write down this part Boundary layer thickness is defined as the thickness it is a thickness or a distance or distance which is which is now this distance is perpendicular this is perpendicular to the solid surface or this is thickness or distance which is perpendicular to the solid surface till the velocity of fluid is equals to 99% of velocity of stream or free stream velocity. Now, 
let us understand this what do you mean by a boundary layer thickness now boundary layer thickness for any solid or for any fluid will be defined as by a laminar boundary layer and then transient boundary layer now over here we can see this is a laminar boundary layer the thickness is very small this is a transient boundary layer and then we have a turbulent boundary layer along with that we have a lam laminar sub layer so this is a boundary layer which is increasing from the leading edge along x direction as the distance along x direction increases the boundary layer is also increasing if we consider this part where the fluid velocity if you consider free stream velocity as u infinity we had consider u we can consider any of these two variables so at this point or at this point or on the layer the boundary layer ends the velocity will be equals to 99 times of free stream velocity so the velocities over here in this part will be equals to the velocity which is equals to 99 times not 99 uh, times it is 99 percent times the free stream velocity so over here we have laminar boundary layer so that is a delta of laminar then we have delta of transient then we have delta of turbulent and we have delta of laminar sub layer so over here this part ends where it is equals to 99 times the free stream velocity so let us uh, just see all these things again so over here we had this leading edge the velocity over here is the free stream velocity due to the obstruction from the solid surface there will be two obstruction first obstru obstruction will be due to the first obstruction <coughs> first obstruction will be due to the adhesive force second obstruction will be due to due uh, due to the viscosity of the fluid now as we go away along the x direction there will be certain growth of the boundary layer now this growth of boundary layer is along y direction and the thickness of the boundary layer will be equals will be equals to equals to when the velocity of the boundary layer becomes 99 times the velocity of the fluid now this is how it explains the concept of growth of boundary layer along with that we have a laminar sub layer in laminar sub layer the velocity remains constant for small amount of thickness y in this direction so i hope you have understood what is growth of boundary layer as well as what is boundary layer definition of boundary layer thickness thank you